this is this is this is Da, 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 da. Welcome back to it. Brand new episode of the podcast, 506. Going, going, going. We uh, we played Denver and Salt Lake, and then I did a Goldfinger weekend in New York and New Jersey. Um, both weekends were great. MXPX is, was long sold out. Um, thank you, Denver and Salt Lake City. So in Denver, we had Ray and Cody from Teenage Bottle Rocket come up. Ray sang Stay Up All Night, and then um, Cody came up and sang Without You, which is their song. They're, we have a song called Without You, MXPX, but also Teenage Bottle Rocket has a song called Without You. I really love the song. And we, I think we did it, we did it on a live stream, um, live on the internet a while back. One of, those, one of those shows where we were just doing so many different, different, um, songs from deep from the catalog we just put put that little cover in um really great song so they came out and and did that and then ray sang backups and it was really fun five iron frenzy uh the horn section came out on heard that sound and and played that with us that was fun um just it was just a great show the ogden theater was packed um no complaints really it was a beautiful day you could see the looked in the right direction and um, it was, uh, you know, downtown Denver, Colorado. Um, people are cool. Um, just stay stay out of the, off the wrong streets or whatever. But like, everybody was cool with us. You know, I got yelled at. I, I was, I was, uh, I don't know what I was doing. I was like next to a car. This guy yelled at me because his his neighbor his, his apartment building was like right next to where I was standing, and he didn't like me blocking the driveway i'm like if somebody comes i'm gonna move <laughs> like it's what's the problem like you're you're good he he uh he wasn't having it though um anyway uh <laughs> it was a great show it was amazing uh we had a blast and um and then a, a pretty late night as usual uh, after shows um and then we we went to salt lake city early morning super early got there um, we wanted, you know, it was snowing when we got there, so we wanted to make sure we got there in case there was any weather-related issues, and there wasn't. It, it really didn't affect too much. Um, but our guest was late. She actually didn't even make it to sound check because her flight came in a little late from Los Angeles. I'm talking about Stacy D um, from Bad Cop, Bad Cop. She came in to sing "Stay Up All Night." Since uh, since she was there. We, well, it was really part of the plan all, all, all along, but we had her also sing on Salt Lake City, which is a cover song uh, that MX Pigs did by the Dwarves. And we kind of made it our own and, and we added uh, Stacey D on lead vocals and then um, Jenny Cotterell from formerly of Bad Cop, Bad Cop sang um, some, sang some like, real cool like doo-wop parts and backup vocals on it anyway it was great to, to actually do that live with her because she sounded exactly like the cd exactly like the cd exactly like the recording and um and and it just felt good up there you know we had we had rehearsed it of course and, and we were ready to play it um it took me a minute to 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 get the lyrics back i was like okay, I can't remember these lyrics exactly, but I got them. Like I, I, I definitely had the lyrics by the time the show rolled around, but, um, we really had a blast in say in Salt Lake, it, you know, just the city itself was, uh, a really, really, it was really great to be back in it because it had been a while. Um, shout out to my buddy, Jeremy Johnson, uh, you know, tum in the tumble down days, we'd stay at his house and his family great to us they'd feed us and we'd drink beers in the garage and just hang out talking um but then uh also shout out to to lauren madsen uh a, a musician in salt lake he uh, you know i met him up in bremerton in fact but he's from salt lake city and he he was like a little bit after tumble down like if if tumble down had been around 
at the same time as him doing his thing, or maybe he was doing his thing. He just didn't, I just didn't meet him yet, but we would have really meshed well together. Like he has this, like, I guess Americana, um, I don't know, like it's, it's like an alt country kind of thing. Um, but it's, it has that punk style that, that, uh, vagabond kind of vibe to it. Um, his voice is real low and gravelly, so different than mine. Mine's much, much more, um, I, I guess it's much more clean and um, mid-tone. And I don't know what people would describe my voice as because I think the way I hear my voice is different than the way the way people hear it because I'm hearing my voice inside my head as I'm, as I'm talking and I can hear this, this reverberance inside, right? Well, when you don't have that, to go on that's when things that's why things sound thin sometimes so um i don't know if you've ever if people listening have ever you know a lot of people have probably have listening they've recorded their own voice but if you haven't recorded your own voice i strongly recommend just do it just like you know, you, you pro people nowadays record videos of themselves all the time, right? Like you, you have not all the time, maybe, but like sometimes you're on video and you're talking about, hey, I'm on vacation. Here we are. We're in Mexico. We're in Palm Springs. We're whatever. Uh, <laughs> we're in Thailand. Um, I, I wonder what you think about your voice. Does it sound weird? Because back when we first started, when I when I started recording myself and and recording songs and, and and you know just i started writing songs this was like before mxpx before the band everything just literally just trying to learn my instrument trying to write songs two song parts do or two part songs do 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 there's one part there's a second part there's a song so uh that's the way i wrote songs back in the day but hearing my voice early on was always really unsettling. I did not like the sound of it. It was thin. It was nasally. It was not what I liked. And 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 I think it's gotten better. I feel better about my voice these days. Uh, I don't feel self conscious at all about it. Like I, I can sing. I can, you know, I'm not necessarily Adele, but I can sing. I can do some things. Right. I, I can sing my songs fairly well. And. Um, and I think that's the whole point is you should really try as a songwriter, um, try to do, and, and this can apply to other things rather than songwriting, but like when you're writing songs, write something that you know, that you feel in your heart, you feel in your body, you feel, you feel good about, you feel like I can sing this, this feels good to sing. Like that's literally how I wrote this last album, Find A Way Home, was I was writing parts that felt good to sing. So if you listen to uh, Mistakes Will Be Made, those lyrics, uh, they're little vignettes. They're not necessarily like a whole story that fits together all in one. It's meant to be more like, okay, here's a little memory I have. Here's a little thing that's happened. Here's a little thing that could happen. Here's a thought that I had. You know, And they you know, all piece together into this song mistakes will be made but uh, a lot of how i wrote those lyrics was just how it felt good to sing and a lot of how i wrote that song was just how it felt we choose to be who we are in some ways in some ways we don't in some ways we have a little you know that part if unless you have to really really dissect it to get some meaning from it but it does mean it does make sense when you really think about the succession of words that I'm saying, if you just follow it logically, but as a song and an art piece, I'm not really thinking of that. I'm thinking of how does the sound to the, to sing? How are these words? How are these, how are these sounds of these words? Not the meaning of the words so much. And, and they do have meaning. I'm not saying they don't, but we choose to be who we are in some ways, in some ways we don't. I mean, that's a classic, like, you know, we're all born. We don't choose to be born. We 
are partly who we are because of where we live regionally, circumstance, what time in history we are born in. That's something we don't choose. Our parents, what they teach us, we don't choose that either. So like in that way, we don't choose who we are in some ways, in those ways, in other ways, we do choose who we are. You know, you have the choice as a human to, you know, follow your dreams or squash your dreams and just go the easy route, and go the safe route, whatever it is, right? Uh, th there's a lot of ways you can be yourself or not be yourself or be lying to yourself. So I think that's that's the idea behind that first line. We choose to be who we are in some ways, in some ways we don't. In some ways we have a little too much, some never won't. So in some ways we have a little too much. Like some people have too much of, it could be money, it could be food, it could be whatever, right? And other people never will, um, never will have that problem. So... Um, that's the idea behind that line is like, yeah, there are the haves and the have nots in this life. And I, I consider myself very lucky and some, you know, and depending on who you are, I could be somebody that's got everything, you know, and, 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 but I look at other people and go, wow, that person has really made it. They, you know, they, they've really um, stacked up them dollar bills. They've, been successful in their career and their family life and their whatever you know we can all have a level to look up to there's always somebody with more i think that's my point in in all that so we choose to be who we are in some ways in some ways we don't in some ways we have a little too much and some never won't and some never won't have a little too much never won't have a little too much those are the people that are the the ultra rich people people that uh will never have to worry about money ever again i think even people that are pretty well off most of those people still have to worry about cash flow rising expenses taxes going up i mean there's a lot that that happens when you have more you know more money more problems they say right so I imagine somebody that's like a billionaire or even, you know, multimillionaire that's, you know, a lot of expenses that need to be thought of that I can't even think of. Um, but, you know, on my own level, you know, there's the studio, there's the constant upgrade that we have to do with the studio, live streaming, microphones, cables, uh, new console, switcher, internet fees. Um, the list goes on and on. And we're just, we're a pretty modest i would say mom and pop business we do well but we also can't necessarily stop working we have to we have to keep keep it rolling but that's the thing is like the momentum of what we do as as musicians as artists the momentum is what really works it what what is what makes things work and you know when we when we see the fruits of our labor uh, come back, that's when it, it gives us that like nod that, okay, you're going in the right direction. Um, my video is freaking out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just turn this around and film this. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. So um, I'm using this other film now, this other camera. Um, so let me just back up and say, I don't really, I didn't, I didn't even plan to talk about this this billionaire stuff, but like, let me just back up again. Here we go. Now there's all these expenses that, that people have and even just the average person has a lot of expenses taxes every year you have 
um, even if it's not, even if you're not paying taxes, you have to spend time doing it or pay somebody to do your taxes for you. So, I mean, there's expenses involved. Um, you know, I can't begin to, to even fathom what it must be to be a billionaire and what it must be to manage that kind of wealth. Um, boo hoo, right? Boo hoo. How hard it must be. <laughs> but, but it's, you know, it's something that, uh, it's something that it, it's different for everybody. So back to the song, I was just, you know, these are just thoughts that I have and I put them into weird cryptic, not even cryptic, just word. Um, it's like a word puzzle and it goes together in a really cool way in my mind. Like I'm trying to write something that's, that's falling off the tongue in a cool way, in a way that, that I can repeat over and over and that people will latch on to. Um, I know that when I'm listening to really cool stuff, I don't always hear the lyrics. I hear the sound of the words. I hear, I hear the music. I hear the energy of what the person's saying and the melody and the notes, all of that. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's not, a science for me at all still after all these years I still really work to I work to put every song together even if they sound so if you even if my songs sound the same to you like man he writes the same songs over and over I can always tell when it's a Mike Herrera song like I'm trying to write songs that are different but I'm also trying to write songs that are mxpx songs you know that's my main goal is to write an mxpx song and if i can do that then i i feel like i've done my job and um so that that's what i that's what i work on um did we talk about the bremerton shows the bremerton shows uh 20 june 28th june 29th two nights in bremerton washington mxpx hometown it's mxpx in the ataris at the admiral theater mxpeaks.com for tickets to be honest tickets might be sold out um we haven't said anything because the, the main floor has been gone but we don't want bots and scalpers to get the tickets so there's balcony tickets left there's a few left probably less than 20 a night um by now by the time i'm saying this it could be gone uh, and and it is what it is but you know chances are there might be a, a ticket or two um, still floating up in that balcony. So please come on, go to mxpeaks.com, go to the Admiral Theater website, whatever, wherever you can find it. But mxpeaks.com is an easy place. And, and go get your ticket if you didn't already get one and you want to come. Bremerton, Washington, two different sets. We're, we're going to do two drastically different sets, a um, lot of different songs. There will be more songs different about the set than there will be the same. That is my, that is my oath to you as a as an artist there will be more songs different every night now there will be a couple songs that we do like chick magnet will probably do both nights maybe move to bremerton should we do that should we do move to bremerton i don't know you tell me um so bremerton washington uh friday saturday june 28th 29th and then sunday we're going to be playing with no effects sunday evening no effects in Portland, Oregon, June 30th. That's Sunday. That's after the two nights in Bremerton. We're going to haul our butts down to Portland, Oregon and play with no effects. It's their last last weekend in Portland. Um, it's Saturday and Sunday. So if you can't make it to Bremerton, you could go Saturday. But why wouldn't, why wouldn't you just wait and go on Sunday and see MXPX with with no effects um we'll be there for that so i think there's tickets still available for that as well so if you miss out on bremerton please try to check us out with no effects in portland and then um june so that's june 30th july 20th in denver colorado mxpx is back with no effects we'll be playing um i want to i don't know what night it is but it's it's one of the two one of the two nights i think teenage bottle rocket is on the first night John Snodgrass is on the first night, and we're on the second night. I think we're in Saturday. So, um, but but that's the twentieth. I'm pretty sure. And then October. I don't remember the date. All these dates floating around. I didn't look it up. October in San Pedro, California, the very last weekend of No Effects. 
it's their very last shows. We'll be there. Come see us. Um, San Pedro, California. MXPX, no effects. Um, the last weekend. All right. That's it for shows so far. I know people are wondering when you come into Brazil, when you come into Australia, we are not ready to announce any of those things. When are you coming to Alberta or any of that? Canada, we're not ready to announce any of these things yet. Um, I don't actually do, I'm, you know, it's not my job. I'm doing, my job is to go play the show. So I've been doing that. Um, you know, Goldfinger is playing Orlando coming up. Sublime with, uh, with uh sublimes with bradley's kid bradley's son is is stepping in and doing the vocals and the guitar so that'll be kind of cool to see um and 311 and goldfinger so i'll be there with that i can i can tell you that much as for any of the other goldfinger shows on the schedule uh as per usual i will really only find out maybe a week or two ahead if i'm going to go and it's not a if they decide to bring me, it's a, they, I, I'm welcome to play every show, <laughs> but uh, I can't play every show. There's some shows that I'm going to miss due to MXPX responsibilities. I know what's that, but uh, sometimes I'm going to have to miss some, some Goldfinger shows. It's just a fact of punk rock life. Um, but um, I'm excited to get back in the practice room and, and get, this uh, set list, these two set lists going for it, for the Bremerton shows for MXPX, going to be awesome. Um, and then uh, let the summer begin. It's going to be good. MXPX.com, we have new merch. We have vinyl and variants, and and we have a new Eclipse, uh, solar Eclipse insert you can get. Um, there's just a lot of really cool stuff that if, if you want to support what I do with this podcast, the easiest way is to, one, listen to MXPX on whatever streaming uh, site you listen on, add our albums, add our new albums, or, or listen to our new album and our, our self-titled album. Listen to those over and over and over endlessly. That's the best way. But aside from that, ordering merch at MXPX.com, um, we employ some very cool people that help us out and are part of the you know MXPX team. And we, uh, we have a great time with with uh everything that that we we end up doing including you know what we come up with with the merch items including you know doing live shows in the live stream room we're working on that that's still um that's still in process and um you know life is good life is really good honestly um i was going to do some voicemails but i feel like i feel like this was kind of a just a good little catch up for me and uh we'll do some voicemails next week all right shout out to bob mcknight for producing he he does a lot um he has a song uh now and again he'll post on the facebook group make sure you guys like those posts because it will it will hurt his feelings if he gets no likes on those posts you know he's very fragile but uh, i'm kidding he's not fragile he's funny and i'm just blowing him up but uh you know we have a great community over on the mike herrera facebook uh my mike herrera podcast facebook group and so if you aren't already a member over there please go join up there uh you can also follow along on my career podcast on instagram my career pod on twitter and um I have a personal TikTok page. It's my career TD. And then of course, all my personal uh, Instagram and all that is all my career TD. I can't even say my name at this point, but um, it's been a crazy day. The guys are coming over. We're going to practice. We're going to do, uh, we're building something here at the studio that you guys will see eventually. Um, so we're busy. We're busy just working and getting really deep into this stuff. So um, it's been it's been a lot of fun. I, I wonder, you know, um, what else has been going on? Because, I mean, I feel like we've just been playing show after show after show. And we have. I mean, we've been playing a lot. But um, with this Bremerton weekend coming up, I feel like that's going to that's going to be the event. You know, that's going to be something that I'm really, really going to be looking forward to and putting a lot of my energy into. Um, just making it very cool and, and um, I don't know. I'm just thinking about ideas right now. Get excited about it. 
Are you guys excited about it? I'm excited. Bremerton, Washington, June 28th and 29th. It's basically sold out, basically. But um, like I said, by the time this comes out, maybe it is, and maybe we've we've announced that. But the very next day, Bremerton sold out. So Bremerton is completely sold out both nights. Thank you very much. Just in case it's not, uh, it's got to be close. It's got to be like one or two seats because we stopped doing the ads and we're just like letting letting it trickle. We're just letting people find those tickets. And um, yeah, I mean, that's it. It's um, it's a wild, wild world. Sometimes, sometimes you're begging people and sometimes you hardly try at all and and it works. So thank you. Appreciate you. And it, and it shows that what we're doing is working and, and it's growing and the new album is, is uh, getting out there. And um, yeah, I just can't be any happier about it. I'm so stoked. Thank you. Um, all right, that's it. Have a great week. Bye. <laughs>